This week on The Droids, we're talking about Rose. Where is she? What's happened? Why isn't she in the marketing, the promotional material? We're going to talk all about where Rose Tico is. We need to see more of her. And plus, all of The Droids back on one podcast. We're all here, ready to get into all the hot and fresh. Oh, wait, that's Chris's thing. This is The Droids You're Looking For, a Star Wars podcast. Welcome back to the Droids You're Looking For, a Star Wars podcast. Alongside Chris, Sam, Ryan, I am Mike. The whole crew is back. All the Droid Boys are here and ready to talk about Star Wars. It's been a bit of a hiatus for the entire crew, but here we are. I gotta say, Mike, it was fantastic to hear you do that intro to show us how it's done. My goodness. (laughs) I I could speak for all our listeners when I could say we're relieved you're back. (laughs) And it's, I can speak for all our listeners in one week's time. Yeah. Cut back on the crosstalk. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like we found Luke Skywalker. We found Mike. I thought he was a myth. I have been on Octo. <laughs> mostly mostly drinking teat milk, but... Well, we Ooh. did hear... <laughs> <laughs> first, well, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the first time teat has been ever said on the podcast. <laughs> That's going to uh, get us our explicit radio yeah, in exactly. society. Exactly. Um, well, Mike, um, even though you weren't here, we did hear you. And again, fantastic interview with uh, yes. Mr. Steven Sansweet. That was great. Well, Steve Sansweet is, I mean, obviously unrivaled in his collection. Uh, mm-hmm. It was a treat to go through there and to look at everything that he had. Yeah. The original pieces from the actual Death Star from the original film wow. was incredible to look at. But I, the stuff that really blew me away was just kind of finding some things that were reminders of not only things we've talked about on the podcast, but mm-hmm. things from my childhood. Like the entire Power of the Force collection was there oh, and wow. set up. Wow, and then that's cool. the Phantom Menace Pepsi cans. And <laughs> he had them? He had them. And I, I had them too at one point, but it's been long gone You're like, by hey, now. hey, wait a second. Those are my cans. But he not only had them, but he had the specific... Phantom Menace droid uh, toppers to the Pepsi oh. cans. I didn't even realize existed. Are they like I, the plastic, like people cut wait, out? Wait, did kind they of still thing? have soda yeah. in them? Oh yeah, they didn't. They didn't look like they were open. Wow. He, At nope. any point where you're like, I'm so thirsty and cracking open, <laughs> crack, and he's like, No. I may or may not have picked up his uh, Coca Cola thermal detonator from Galaxy's oh, Edge, and it definitely had a specific "Do not touch" uh, on the <laughs> shelf. And oh well, I made you've a mistake. ruined everything. Well, and yeah, now, ruined the collection. <laughs> that's well, the last time any of us are invited. <laughs> so much well, live show. There. Mike's always been a bit of a rebel. He did, rebels. Mike, when you picked it up, did he say, he's holding a thermal detonator? Oh, if only. If only that would have oh, happened. Oh, wow. Um, I, I am, you kind of you, you kind of touched on it, but I, I'm dying to know, Mike, Did was there, and is it possible, can you narrow it down? Was there one thing that was like, a, a, a holy grail for you that you saw that you were like I want to own that or like was there was there one, one I mean to me the biggest you? thing was the recreation of the hallway of the entry hallway for mm. Vader oh yeah the oh, wow. fact that that was that was taken from one was that of, the think, actually biggest thing too yes <laughs> <laughs> it was actually the largest physical thing there but it was wow. um, from celebration one year they offered it to him he also had had a cantina set. That was offered to him as well, but he had no space. Like the full oh. built out um, for one of the celebrations that they had a full set and he couldn't take it, which was kind of incredible. And then he also had the wheels of the Jawa crawler. He had a giant <laughs> those outside of it. It was it's really if you're out there, it's a non for profit. He does great tours. Go and check it out. Um, Rancho Obi Wan dot org. I, I, it's worth your time to go and see everything that he has. He's talked about people coming in and getting emotional. I just was kind of in awe. Mm-hmm. I I talked to him and I felt like I'm sure he was like, oh great, another person telling me about the thing. <laughs> another one of these guys. And I yeah. and I said, I was like, hey, I have the Ali Ma Star Wars posters. He's like, oh, I love those. That's one of my favorite poster sets that I have. And I'm like, wow, that's oh. kind of cool to be in line with wow. the stuff that he has. Um, <laughs> We're the same, you and I. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> From the same cloth, are we? Well, and then, listeners, oh, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say he also had. Um, 
the a specific prop from the Phantom Menace that was whatever the fish creature that Jar Jar eats off of the stand <laughs> with his tongue. Oh. They oh, had he had that with also have. the official like picture of where it was on the set, which was pretty cool. And I just I, I spent all day there, so I looked at a ton of stuff. Uh, of course, original Boba Fett's. He had three of mm-hmm. them, which I think are each worth minimum of fifteen thousand dollars. Did he have the one that, that have, the rocket actually shoots, or is that a myth? Uh, well, I couldn't touch it. It was in a oh. case. So did I didn't. you tell him that the animation of Boba Fett in the Christmas special is actually pretty cool? <laughs> I did. I also asked him if he had heard the tale of Darth Plagueis. Hey, mm-hmm. like when you saw the uh, the Gungan food item, did you go? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. You know, I actually do that a lot these days with my one year old. So yeah. it's not <laughs> so, uncommon for me. Yeah, Star Wars teaches the children. Huge well, Jar Jar fan, is he? <laughs> very much so. Actually, there's well, an entire wing of BB-8. Uh, oh wow! He's yeah, he's dead on that. that that's his favorite. So yeah. Well, well that's what Jar Jar is doing now. After the after, I mean, we we know that after the events of uh, uh, of Episode Three, he became a street performer for children. Oh. Well, there you go. Oh. There you go. Yeah, well, our right. listeners, oh, yeah. you can. Oh yeah. Oh, before he God. died, you can listen back. <laughs> you can listen back to that episode. What is that? Three, four episodes ago. Oh, how the time has flown. <laughs> oh how the time has flying that's right <laughs> we're back babies mike it's flying time what's going on well speaking of the flying time we are getting close to november 12th and the mandalorian we're getting close to the rise oh. of skywalker we've got more we're going to talk a little bit later in the podcast about another trailer likely on the horizon but before we get there the promotional materials the marketing we talked about triple force friday got into what was coming out everybody got their their items and i'm still waiting for a Mandalorian, haven't had a chance to go and pick one up myself. If you got one, send it my way. Droidspot at gmail.com. I'll send you my address. <laughs> yeah, I, email us a, yeah, that, I was wondering where that was going to go. <laughs> email email us the the you got to get somehow they have to have my information to send me a Mandalorian. Yeah. Come on. Mike will give his his address to anyone who emails. Well, say that actually, they have a Mandalorian. Ryan, the Mandalorian. You should be able to cash out your coin for one Mandalorian. That's, that's Do you think? The, <laughs> if you use if if you use this week's secret word, Chris will send you Mike's address. <laughs> yeah, and let you know. <laughs> yeah, listen to that. <laughs> But as all of the marketing push has begun in earnest, and we're going to get mm-hmm. more TV commercials, we're going to have so much more to digest in the next few months, which is just going to be so exciting. We've noticed, and and the internet has taken notice of of the absence of Rose in particular pieces of apparel uh in tote bags in items i think there are some toys but she's not in the overall set of all the main characters rose seems to be missing and the hashtag's been going around and there Mm -hmm. was a point when we think of the force awakens where even ray was not as prominent in all the action figures i believe there was a monopoly board that didn't even have a ray figure despite her being the main character in the film and here we are again what we saw was original released apparel and items that then when they were actually on sale, they did not include the image of Rose. So there was a, a mm-hmm. Rebel t-shirt that had a picture of Rose and then that was sold without it. Uh, and then there was, I believe, like a tote bag and, and some of the other stuff where she has not been prominently featured. And we noticed she's not been in some of the poster art. Obviously, there's only mm-hmm. one piece of main poster, but there's been some other circulation of new images from the film. We haven't seen maybe war, more than one peak of Rose. Mm-hmm. And it begs the question, what's happening? How could this be the case? You wouldn't imagine that Disney would be responding to, or maybe they are responding to those yeah. who were upset about The Last Jedi, who maybe harassed uh, Kelly Marie Tran, and they're mm-hmm. trying to walk back the broadness and the more open world that was created with The Last Jedi to now be more acceptable to all audiences, which is, I, I that's not, that's just misguided because mm-hmm. what's acceptable to all audiences is representing all audiences. Right. So I don't I, quite know what, what's it's, happening what, here. When I first heard this, I was, I was under the impression that it was like, is this some kind of like, propaganda hoax like like yeah. i just thought like this, this this seems like such a a misstep to do if it is true that i was like this has to be misconstrued and no i i searched far and wide for the merchandise that was shown but then eventually switched i did find 
a Rose Rebel shirt. Whether it's official or not, I don't know, but it should be in the it's, mail in the, in the next couple of days. It's not official. It's we look like it's not official. It's it's officially Here's, licensed. And, it's it, it, what what this is. Oh, sorry, Ryan. Why don't you go ahead? It, well, this no, is bonkers, I was say, though. And the reason I was saying like it's not official, it, it was <laughs> Chris. I'm glad that you purchased it. Um, yeah, it's also but, on the Disney Store now, so they did okay, like but, add it eventually. Here's but the how thing. did that other site have it? <laughs> yeah, here's the thing though. It's like if Disney is course correcting, fine. But this is um, in ter- in terms of like the Star Wars era and how Disney has handled Star Wars. This is one of the most disappointed I've been, and like infuriated because it it just it just like sucks. It just sucks. Like there's to me, there's like no defense they can make that makes mm-hmm. any sense. You know, people have talked about like maybe it was like trying to figure out a licensing issue, which is like how could they not figure that out? Yeah, I tweeted exactly. about this the other day, and and uh, not that that's relevant. I'm just reading from something, but it, it's it, <laughs> to me at best it's damagingly negligent, and at worst it's pandering to the worst set of people. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and it seems. You know, like, I don't want to be cynical, but there's, like, to me, there's, like, no spin on this that it's, like, that they're just, like, whoops. You know, yeah. it's it just, how it's, could it's, that... You're right. If it is, like, a licensing deal, then it's, like, no, you figure that out. And also, it's, like, the people that are going the extra step to buy these shirts, the fan base that wouldn't be purchasing this stuff is already, like, they've already established. They don't, they're not also, a fan of the sequel trilogy. They're not they're not going to be digging this anyhow because of what happened in in the last Jedi. So it's like who who is this decision for? The fans want it. I don't understand why they would introduce this stuff and then pull it away. It, it, it just Also, how could it be a licensing issue? She was on the Triple Force Friday special <laughs> right. revealing like yeah. her, her action toys figures and, and Yeah, stuff exactly. Like that. He, it's just I, it, I think it's I, I think it's I I am in agreement with everything everyone's saying and and I think our our listeners can probably tell you've got like th- three three marketers and one person in like digital media on this like uh like all like talking about like we this is <laughs> like this is particularly egregious to all of us cuz it's like things that I think in our careers like I think we're we're maybe yeah. particularly attuned to like how could the how could the team mess this up on the marketing department? <laughs> right. But yeah. I, I think for me the the maybe the biggest fear that I have um, that that's yet unanswered is since we see since we clearly saw leaked early images that included her. It, I mean, like the you know anybody can go and look at the Twitter thread or any of the articles and see the side by side comparisons of what was leaked um, and what has been seen so far in actual release and you can see that it it, you know it wasn't an omission of rose but it was a a decision to remove rose and what concerns me you know first of all if there was a decision to remove her that was calculated in in either in either pandering or in thinking somehow that you know well this character isn't going to be that popular we should remove it's like well that feels very tone deaf to me to what happened all around her character in the Last Jedi and the actress, uh, yeah, like Kelly they're aware of like but, what, yeah. But but the the sorry, I I got really long winded. The the no, bigger but... concern to me is that if this was an an intended decision, someone who who looked at it and said maybe maybe there's somebody who said yeah, why is she on the poster? She's not in the movie that much. That's my biggest concern because I, I think it was clear that um, that she was a character in the last Jedi that Ryan Johnson was super passionate about that. A lot of fans really latched onto uh, well, a, I mean, a number of fans, a number of fans rejected, but the big fear to me is that someone, and you know, I'm not saying like at the very, very top, but like there could be someone somewhere in the lines of, of, you know, production or creative who's going, yeah, but like with how we're cutting this thing, she's not in it much why are we putting her on the poster or on the t-shirts? Yeah. And then it's like, it's... well, then it feels like the creative decision has gone the wrong way with the character in a way that's disappointing me even well, more. They, well, make an act- they make an action figure for Constable Zubia, who's not even in the movie. You mean yeah. in The Force Awakens? Yeah. And mm-hmm. so it's like the precedent for that is just non-existent because the, the point of this is to make characters and half of the things are toys so they can sell them. So it's like, 
I'm just talking about the poster. Yeah, like, no, and I, the I artwork, just, yeah, right? Yeah. Because like you wouldn't like Constable Zubio wasn't on the posters. I yes, yeah. he was an action figure, and yes, well, that that's a great example. But my he point was on my is posters. More, I bought him officially. <laughs> <laughs> I add him in to every poster. But also, again, it's incongruous. If that yeah. was the case, and again, I, I like, I just don't think it's the case. But like, if that was the case, like they're still putting her front and center a Triple Force Friday. They're mm-hmm. like, it's like, and obviously, I think that she should be. I think, I think that Rose Tico is a great character. I think Kelly Marie Tran is a hero, and it's like they can't they can't now claim that it's like well she's not in the movie we're not putting her in the marketing it's like you're involving her in other marketing so it's like you're involving her in like the marketing that like is just kind of like out into the ether but not the stuff that people could buy i think that that's ridiculous well, i i, I agree. don't it's know weird... well i do want to say i don't know if all of you are going to agree with me on this but i think that rose tico has had probably the best line of the entire sequel trilogy and to me sure. the best moment of the last Jedi. Also, just from like a, a narrative standpoint, in terms of like PR, if we're like looking at it cynically, but like it, Kelly Marie Tran, we talked about this right before the last Jedi came out. Like she is all of us. Like she was the one that was so excited mm-hmm. to be there. Like she had never been in a movie like this before. She like loved it so much. Like she should be someone that they're putting front and center, her and yeah. her character, because it's like well, she's like this surrogate, not just for us as an audience member, her character. But for us as people that are like, wouldn't it be amazing to be in a Star Wars movie? And she's right. like there doing yeah. it, well, and she's like com- as excited yeah. as anyone else. And it's, would and be? it's a bummer <laughs> than that 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 wind was kind of taken out of her, just the way like there was just that general overwhelming reaction for just no other reason than just nonsense and, and hate to a certain degree, and like that that wind is taken out of her, and I think that it's up to them now to kind of rehabilitate that. Well, I think, I, I mean, Ryan, I think it's interesting when you're talking about what marketing she's been a part of and what or like what marketing activations or initiatives. I mean, it, it there seems to be, um, you know, like uh, your word is good, an incongruity between the way they are marketing this film with Kelly Marie Tran versus how they're marketing Rose Tico. Like there seems to be a disconnect or like a misalignment of like they really like kelly marie tran and they like you know her energy and her excitement and enthusiasm and they know the fans love her and her story and are behind her and yet there isn't that same backing for her character whether that's because of you know the role in the movie or because of like misguided uh you know reactionary uh marketing or whether it's like really un unfathomable oversight like there's this disconnect of like kelly marie trans all over this thing but rose tico is nowhere to be seen that's weird yeah and there's also like i I certainly don't want to speak for kelly marie trans she's a person with agency and and so i'm not trying to be condescending you know but it it's it's to me it's it's bordering it seems exploitative that they're like Mm -hmm. yeah like we'll have you do these events like as like will you will be used for all of the marketing and stuff but like you can't go on the poster Right, you know, oh, like no, these totally. things that are permanent. Yeah, Meanwhile, like, and I'm not saying again. I'm not saying that like this character shouldn't be on there, but like Carrie Russell's character, who we don't even know yet, is on the posters. <laughs> right, like That's it's it's wild. like a character oh in a mask. I, I believe well, there was so, we is, have so no is Jana. Jana's on the yeah. poster as well. Which again, she'll probably be a great character, but we don't know her either. But then, but yeah, the, and so like it's like the, I think I think all of these of the, people should be on the poster. I just. Like the I'm not saying that they shouldn't to, be. I'm saying Kelly Marie Tran and Rose Tico. The should. weird part is that they replaced her with just like an alien that I've never seen before. Have we seen that alien before? Yeah, we saw him in it's, promotional it's in the, imagery. It's in the feature, yeah. It's okay, in, but, but like, it's not. But it's not like a, a character we've seen. No, it's like, not a character. Yeah, it's, we it's know. it's a new character. Yeah. So it's <laughs> like what? Run a, what J- is that? It's a, podcast it's a JJ, JJ character. Its name. What is it's that a, decision? It's a JJ created character. It's a JJ character, though. I yeah. It's. Hey, Dio's, Dio's on the poster, isn't he? <laughs> the the story though that was going around Twitter and and, and I I don't know I won't name names to the artist or anything, but the poster that he drew for license officially licensed for Lucasfilm first uh, apparently he had Rose in there and then he said he removed it because he was waiting on some reference photos and then he put it back. <laughs> Yeah, but okay. then they and then, shot the movie a it's, it's, year ago. It's but really then, tough then, to find a reference photo of Kelly Marie Tran if you use right. Jeez. Well, then he then someone kind of called him out and said, "No, that's actually false. You released this poster like a while back, and she was in it." 
So I, I don't know if maybe like Disney now has a, this is just me playing a conspiracy theory. If allegedly Disney is now kind of trying to field these things, like if he went back to the licensing agency and was like, hey, uh, they're asking me where this character is and just say, well, we're waiting on reference photo, you know. So it, it seemed a little suspect that there could be some like backtracking there. But I, I, I'm glad of the Internet of the positive Star Wars fans Internet response of kind of finding this stuff and calling it out. So if you do see this instance in other aspects, not just Rose, maybe other characters or other things that were just interpreted as, as not uh, Star Wars by the, the, the dark side, um, <laughs> please let us know. We'd love to hear it and, and debate it on this pod. The character and, uh, in question is Claude, the alien character. Oh. Claude. All I say that's is... That's spelled oh just like God. Claude? K L A U D. Oh, okay. Uh, I would have to say I don't know that we need a Claude on the poster. I'll say that that reinforces that that is the perfect name for the character of what we're talking about. Like <laughs> such uh, a like Claude of, move. It's, it's like of course it is. Yeah, of course they replaced Kelly Marie Tran with a blob named Claude that that <laughs> JJ likes. It's a, uh, it's, a, it's so offensive. Here, like. You know, they fixed I mean, this, they fixed I think, it on the Avengers poster like in a minute when they screwed up uh, mm-hmm. Denai Guria's billing when they didn't have her and like fans went on. They like had it up later that day. This idea of like the, the, the this whole like just this whole like dance around and like explanation yeah. and stuff. It, I mean, it, how do you screw this up? I guess that's what's driving me nuts as like yeah. as a marketing person. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah like, that's who like, was or, who yeah. was in the room not saying like, hey guys, that's, if yep. we don't keep Kelly on there prominently, everything's going to explode in our faces, and and then also say, and they'll be right. The people yelling mm-hmm. at us will be right. It, it's it's that's, maddening. That's that's where my yeah. head is at. I you hope you think somebody in the room would would be privy to what's going on. Listen, I hope that Disney d- does everything they can to make this right. I hope that like Disney, you know, like stands by someone in their most valuable franchise. You know, it's it's. Mm-hmm. She was chased off Twitter because of yeah. hatred and stuff like that. It's yeah. like, and, and and I know that Disney can't like do every, but it's like it, it's one of the most powerful corporations on the planet. Yeah. They can it's do like a they lot. could they could like <laughs> yeah. be behind. Like I'm not saying that they have they to like put a hit out right on people, but like they could yeah. like they could stand by <laughs> yeah. someone like this. And 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 you know, I just I yeah, I found now, it insanely know, disappointing. One, I think one thing I would like to do is I want to go to a couple of stores and check out and see what I can find and see if I can find Mm -hmm. any Rose action figures, Rose apparel, because there's obviously the online certain Mm -hmm. discussion and discourse. And I think that regardless of how many products actually include Rose, Disney should address it because there's enough of a groundswell and there's enough of maybe the fuel to the fire who people who didn't like the last Jedi and didn't like Mm -hmm. Rose's character that they should make a better effort. But I also feel like I do need to go out there and look for mm-hmm. myself because I, I sure. haven't, and and I yeah, need that, to just see if there are. That was my some that products. was my that was my initial kind of thought. It was like this could be a hoax. Well, I think I here's think what I'll do right here's, now. Here's what I'll here's what I'll do. If if folks out there, uh, I, as Chris said, I'd love we'd love to hear from you. If uh, anybody who by the next time we record we we record weekly, if you get in and you. Go in and put an iTunes review in for the pod. Positive, negative, say what you want. Give your honest opinion. If you review us, we'll randomly, I'll randomly pick somebody, and I'll buy a, a I'll find a, either a Rose action figure or a piece of Rose merch, and we'll, we'll ship go. it to the random person. But you got to review the pod. Um, and also, it'd be great to just hear from you in general, like what you think uh, about this issue, because clearly we're passionate and we're all in agreement. Um, mm-hmm. But would love to hear from you. So and Sam, that's, if you that's see on a the man- table. Mandalorian figure, you know, send that my way. <laughs> pick, one of the, pick one of those up too. Yeah, I think I think kind of just summation here. Like uh, uh, Disney, where's Rose? Um, tweet at we're gonna tweet at you. I think fans should as well. Ask ask the question um, of uh, where is she? Well, with that. That that conversation, as more marketing happens for the film, uh, could continue and have a larger swell around times like when the new trailer comes out. Have we seen Rose in the actual trailer? I don't believe we saw her. Correct in that first no, trailer. We've seen promo- like one or two promotional stills, but I don't mm, think she was no, in the trailer. Not in the trailer. Yeah. So we're likely getting one more trailer. Yep. Potentially oh, some other variations that would be TV spots, but they'll have minor new footage. 
here's the question. We, we will talk overall about our expectations of the trailer, but do we think we see Rose in the next trailer? I think absolutely. I, yeah, I, think, I think we do. I, this isn't, I, I do think whatever, you know, negative uh, feelings I have about the, the way they've handled it, like, to get to this point, I think Disney does, like, I think does, Disney does care and keep a pulse on, like, when, like, Disney doesn't like people saying bad things about them. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so, so I think there's probably some editor frantically being like, oh, shit, 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 gotta find a yeah. clip of Rose to put in here. Yeah. No, I, I do think I do think she'll be in in the trailer. I think, I mean, this is this trailer is probably going to be kind of a, a a feast for the fan uh, because oh, it's, it's, they got to put they've got to put everything <laughs> in it. It's all or nothing. It's the last Star Wars trailer of uh, the saga, so why wouldn't they go for broke? You know what they won't do though. I don't think we'll see any more Dark Ray. I think that was the one clip of Dark. Yeah, that they're I, not doing. I, another I, show yeah, I think that. they're gonna. I agree. I think we might get um, a little like vague. Uh, uh, kind of plot explainer like there might there might be a goal set in this trailer you mean like a countdown like if we oh, don't get to the death oh. star before yeah, yeah, kylo yeah. it'll be yeah. a little more a little more expository maybe yes i think i think i think that's kind of the the course i'm sure they're setting here especially if the the secrecy was dissuading some people i think that uh, they'll probably have like we need to get this lightsaber or something like that and then and the galaxy vague enough is that counting it's not, on us. Exactly. Vague enough that it's not spoiling any plot, but it's it's a little bit of a, a here's the goal of this movie. Guys, let's clear the deck. Let's let the yep. man who did a perfect prediction of the solo trailer <laughs> step in here. <laughs> open Get the door. There. Here we go. Take it away, Ryan. Uh, it's, so I'm, I'm guessing what the trailer is going to entail. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, pan up. Hot, 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 Things that I think will be in the trailer. I think there will be a silhouette of Palpatine or potentially Palpatine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a laugh or something like that. I don't think we're seeing any more Dark Ray. I think that we're going to see some kind of cave with a kyber crystal in it. And I think the last line will be Luke's. And I think he'll say, it's not over. Oh, that's good. I like that. I'm going to tag in. I'm going to tag right. in. Um, I think we're going to see... Um, I think we're going to see something... Uh, I think we're going to see some kind of uh, uh, crazy flight maneuver by the Falcon... In a, in a very that gives us some sense of scope of like the biggest space battle we've ever seen. I mm-hmm. think they're going to set that Ooh. up. I think we're going to see some combination of. I, I okay. Here's what I, I think we're going to see: uh, Poe and is it Zora Bliss? Is that is that Carrie Russell's character? Yep. Uh, we're going to see Poe and Zora, um, like either either back to back or shoulder to shoulder with their blasters drawn having to get out of a tight spot uh and i think we're gonna see uh i think we're gonna see the way they introduce lando's character like i think we're gonna see billy d like on either like Ooh. on Coruscant or something like or not uh, Coruscant, Bins. sorry, on uh, yeah, on Bespin, Bespin or whatever, yeah. like walking out of like, like a foggy background. So I'm yeah. gonna tag those images in. Wow, nice, Mike. Pan down, whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> to a watery surface where a lightsaber battle is happening in the distance as we slowly get closer which we did see in the first trailer, but this will be a little bit further away. And I think what we'll get is what will be some sort of jaw-dropping lightsaber move in the battle between Kylo and Rey. Uh, I don't know where that will happen in the trailer, but it's going to be one of those things that puts either both of them or one of them in, in what is sure to be enough peril that you feel very concerned about what's going to play out at the end and how that story is going to go. But it's going to be something that you maybe haven't seen before. I kind of like the example of the Force Awakens where Kylo comes out and ignites his lightsaber and then has the two other blades come out from the side. Something mm-hmm. to make us all have a jaw-dropping yeah. moment to Another, remember by. I'm mind blown. 
And then I, I think we're also going to get a deeper Carrie moment. Uh, we had Carrie in the first trailer, but I think there's going to be something where you see a hint at the characters leaving Carrie um, and leaving her behind, which I think we sort of saw with Ray, but this is going to be a little bit more clear that it's kind of we're making our move away from um, Leia and the end of that. So another hint mm-hmm. at that moment. And then I think we'll see conflicted Kylo. We're going to see more of conflicted Kylo um, and actually probably something that will allude to the light side tempting him again. Yeah. Oh, Mike. I- I, yes, I, I, I love. All, I, oh. They gave me one more thought. Oh, <laughs> my, or Chris, oh. you got to go, right? Yeah. Okay, hey, go. Do, go, do go. you want to go first? Or you? No, no, so, no. I'll see. Right. Maybe you'll cover it. It's gonna start. <laughs> it's pan down. It's going to start <laughs> with Maz Kanata is going to be giving a speech about rebels and hope, and we're going to see different worlds in the Star Wars universe. Not, we won't see any of our heroes. And she's going to be talking about hope and how there's heroes in this universe and how they do the right thing. And it's going to cut and it's, she's going to be talking to a bunch of like younglings um, at some kind of <laughs> maybe it, maybe you a Jedi kids. school. <laughs> um, and there's no kids in the Star Wars world. Uh, uh, but then uh, action, action, action. We're going to see. Do you think we're going to hear JJ say action? He, so they actually, I heard that they forgot to cut lots of parts of the movie with the audio. So you're going to hear him say cut also. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, <laughs> cut. <laughs> um, and then we're also going to see um, Kylo, but he's going to say something in the way that Han Solo says something. Ooh. And he's going to like, maybe he's in the Falcon and he's going to hit some switches the way Han does. Ooh. Or he's gonna say like, "Never tell me the odds." Yeah, he's gonna say something. <laughs> oh, that would be that would be wild. Or so, uh, like Ray's like, "The odds of us doing this, so, so. never tell me the odds." Wow. So yeah, I think it'll, I think it'll be the opposite. He's gonna keep on raging against his father. He'll be like, "I yeah. want the odds. Always tell me yeah. the odds." Oh yeah, tell me the odds. Um, and I think we'll have someone will that. say, "I love you," and he'll go, "I don't know." <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that would also be a really good one if if Ray's like, "I know," but like a different different kind of love. Um. That's, uh, I don't know. I, you just hearing these explanations has made me giddy for all get out. Wait, Mike. All right. I gotta, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm also giddy. I'm, I'm Mike, when you were talking, I can't believe that I didn't talk at all about like a lightsaber battle, but here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to piggyback off yours. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be, I think there's going to be a shot where we see the emperor, Kylo Ren and Ray in like, a triangular, like three-way, like Mexican standoff, good, bad, and ugly style, where we don't know, <laughs> yeah. like who's in what, like yeah. are who's going to pair up, who's going to take out who. Yeah, I think there's going to be like that, like spaghetti like, western feel. Here's what I'm thinking based yeah. on that. <laughs> <laughs> based on that, you said lightsaber battles. I'm thinking giant space battle. All of the ships. And fighters have mechanical arms <laughs> holding <laughs> giant lightsabers. And they say, and they say, uh, uh, ro- rogue, squ- ro- red squadron, uh, <laughs> and engage your grievous attachments. Ignite. <laughs> Sam, you mentioned you mentioned a big spaghetti western. I think they're going to have one large piece of spaghetti. The Emperor Ray <laughs> and Kylo, oh and they're all going to eat it. And when actually get, accidentally get a kiss at the end. Stop. Or we'll get all right. Well, yep. That's it. That's all we can do. Wow. Wait, I have, a, Mike, I have a serious question though. Yeah. Does the, has the emperor ever actually brandished a lightsaber in Star Wars? He's, well, mm. I mean, Palpatine has. So yes. no. Oh, sorry. Were, I'm, oh, I'm yeah, thinking of original Senate. trilogy. Yeah, I'm thinking of original trilogy. In the original trilogy, no, I don't. Well, he he. He, uses, he doesn't light one. He yeah. grabs. He picks it, one up and he goes. And he he puts uh, his hand uh, very I'd gingerly say, uh, on it on yeah, the arm. Yeah, Ooh, very gingerly. The best way to. But he's he's never he never lights he's, one. Yeah. He's very frail. Yeah. Um, but that's a good point. Ulti- Obviously, he does it a lot in the prequel. Yeah. My ultimate theory, if I could get hot and fresh <laughs> here, is that <laughs> the emperor will be back, but he'll be inside of the lightsaber, and the lightsaber is going to be an evil relic that both Rey and Kylo are chasing. So you think it's a remake of the Shadow? Ooh, I don't know that. I was thinking Starting. of Idle Hands. I look bold. <laughs> idle Hands, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like Idle Heads. Yeah. Well, that's what happens to C-3PO, right? Yeah, it is. But that's <laughs> what's going to happen to him. And <laughs> yeah. the reason he, that he, he has chases, Chewbacca's he crossbow. I remember yeah. uh, C-3PO 
puts his hand on top of the lead singer of the offspring's head and then rips it off <laughs> that's an idle hands <laughs> reference for all my saw yeah. heads out there for your seth green fans oh my different saw heads robot chicken okay so we're so this is so that's all that we think is going to be in the trailer this is canon <laughs> this is now canon that's it. And then at the end, do you know what it's going to be? It's going to be a slow jam version of like, dun, 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 dun. Are you like a real dramatic version of the cantina theme? <laughs> <laughs> Just like real echo I needed that explanation. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about, so you think it's going to be, you think it's going to be slow jizz? <laughs> slow jizz music. All right. <laughs> Mike, you happy to have us back. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. I got to say <laughs> Well, we got into this conversation because what the rumor is is that October 21st during Monday Night Football will be when the next trailer hits. That also begs the question, are we... Are we going to watch football? Well, (laughs) some of us already do. But are tickets on sale just over two weeks from now? Or or under two weeks from now? Well, definitely. But that's that's something that is going to really put me over the top in terms of excitement is to say I actually (laughs) have... Yeah, my tickets you're purchased. going to see it. All right, Chris, let's open it up. You're guys. on it. Should we tell all the listeners where we're all, what theater we're going to be at, and so they can try to buy a ticket? <laughs> they want to, they want to see us. Well, let's we wait got, till Chris yeah. that's secures our tickets. Is, and that's then when we'll, the anxiety is really going to kick in for me. Or I, I've been like doing okay, but I thought maybe that's because like, like you know my meds. But I don't. I, maybe <laughs> it's just that I haven't seen enough yet. <laughs> But are also going to be quite distracted because we're going to have the Mandalorian to fill part of the void, which is going to be really interesting. Because it's going to be weird watching Star Wars, yeah. like yeah. watching new Star Wars in the lead <laughs> up to new Star Wars. Also, Waiting also, Jedi Wars. Fallen Order is coming out yeah. soon. Yep, oh, wow. November oh, it's my three gosh. days after. Who it's cares? Who cares? The game looks bad. Okay. Wow. I mean, I'm going <laughs> to play it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna not play. play it. Someone's got to talk about it on the pod. Hey, I'll play it. You and me both. Like you, Ryan, and I were the only ones who finished the last one, right? Or the campaign yeah. story of Battlefront. Yeah, that's right. And wow, we go back on this it. pod. Hey, have fun with that game, you guys. Thanks, man. <laughs> hey, thanks, hey, man. If you have fun with games, <laughs> email us <laughs> droidspod at gmail dot com. You could find us on Instagram at droidspod. You can find us on Twitter at droidspod. And ask Disney where is Rose. Um, Facebook, the droids you're looking for podcast, like, rate, review us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and don't forget if you do that, you will be up for a rose piece of action figure apparel. Not just a piece of an action figure, a full maybe a (laughs) maybe a standy if I can find a piece of an action figure. (laughs) (laughs) And Mike, we got to give you a tip of the cat in person here for that interview a few weeks ago. I meant to do that. That was very nice of you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I, I, yeah. I do Good think... Good times are really flying by. Regardless of our Fly. earlier conversation, this I'm pod, we still, we still got a chance of this live podcast inside yeah. Rancho Obi-Wan. You know, we there set we it go. up with Steve. He seems he seems open to the idea. Well, I booked my <laughs> flight, so I hope he's yep. okay with it. <laughs> December 18th, I'm there. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that is going to do it for this edition of the Droids You're Looking For, a Star Wars podcast. Great to have the entire droid boys back together uh we'll be back next week for another edition of the pod soon to have more predictions likely even more informed ideas of what we're going to see because every week there's more news about star wars that's a great era that we live in right now that's it for the droids you're looking for a star wars podcast what they throw andy andy (laughs) all right that was great should we hit record now Oh, oh boy